This is 1080p. Looks fine to me, but it's also a rather soft 1080p compared to some competing brands. It's the way it is. However, what about 4K? Why do people say to avoid the 4K in this camera? What's with all the bumblebees? <coughs> Don't move. It's fine. So anyway, uh, I was gonna, I actually was recording a video on why you probably shouldn't use the 4K in this camera, especially if you're looking to buy it, that might be helpful to know. And, you know, I decided to scrap the whole video, mostly because, I mean, it's 4K. What could be so challenging about it? What could be, I'm looking at my phone again, what could be so challenging? Well, you see, the thing is, is that this camera has notoriously unreliable autofocus when just using autofocus in its 4K mode. And it's also only 24p, so it's kind of boring. Sorry, I don't like 24p. I would have preferred 30, or even, I'm gonna say it, 48. But I don't think anything from Canon comes with 48 support, so whatever. But what you do get is some nice warbling effects uh, from the rolling shutter, which, I mean, I could probably just show. Yeah, I'm holding my hand straight. Like, it's straight back and forth, but not according to that. So you get that effect. And it's unable to find me, quite literally. I mean, if I'm standing still, sure. But, uh, yeah, it doesn't look so hot, does it? There's no issues in 1080p. In 1080p, it's a near flawless, that's a beautiful sun, performance. So, what can I say? The camera limits you to 6400 ISO in this video mode. You also get a 2.4x crop, so I'm only standing about six feet away from this thing. So, I mean, your minimum focus is, I mean, great. You get a great macro out of it. And if you're in manual focus and something not moving, you'll be fine. But anything else might be a little, little bit of a stretch. So, now that you've uh, seen what it looks like when you've just trying to, you're just trying to vlog or you're trying to do anything in 4K, yeah, keep it in 1080p, guys. And remember, the file size hurts the most.